Yo, what's going on guys, Tanmay for Simple Snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial on Core Java Programming. So in this video tutorial, we'll be discussing and understanding the difference between JDK, JRE and JVM. So with that being said, let's get started. So if you're starting off with Core Java, you will be coming across these three terms that is JDK, JRE and JVM. So let's understand what the difference between these three terms is and it is pretty important because this is a very favorite question in exams as well as in interview questions. So it is very important that you understand theoretically what exactly the difference is. So starting off with JDK, as you can see on the screen, JDK, which stands for Java Development Kit, which is written in this blue rectangular box, provides environment to develop and run Java programs. Okay. And the next line is JDK is equal to that is JDK is JRE plus development tools. So we'll understand what exactly this is. But let's first take a look at this first sentence. JDK provides environment to develop and run Java programs. So from a developer's perspective, let's say I am a developer and I have a client who wants a Java program to be developed. So for me, I would be wanting the entire JDK, which will come in as a package which has JRE plus development tools because it will provide me an environment to develop as well as run Java programs. So from a developer's point of view, that is for a developer, complete JDK is important. Okay. So I am depicting this JDK by this blue rectangular box. Let's see what JRE is then. Okay. So as you can see on the screen, I have a green box, which is JRE that is the Java runtime environment and then the development tools, which is Java C and Java. I'll talk about them in a minute. So JRE is just an environment to run program, which are already developed. So from a client's perspective, he's not going to develop any program, right? He or she is just interested in the end result and he, he or she just wants that executable program. So for that program to run, JRE is important. So for a client, he or she is more interested in JRE, which is Java runtime environment. And JRE is basically JVM plus library files. And it is implementation of JVM, which means it physically exists. So basically J JVM is an abstract machine. It is just a specification. However, JRE is the actual environment in which your program runs. And then talking about these development tools, for example, Java C and Java, basically these are instructions to invoke these tools. So say, for example, you write a Java program. And of course, we haven't yet seen a practical program in this playlist because this is a, probably the second video tutorial in this playlist and we're just covering up some theory, theoretical aspects. So basically, when you write a Java program to compile it, you invoke this tool by going to the command prompt and saying Java C and then the program name. So what happens is the compiler is invoked and then that program is compiled. So this is basically a development tool for you as a developer. And then after compilation, when you want to run, run the program, you say Java space the program name. So these tools are specifically for for developers. So that's why they come in as a package that is JDK, which comprises of JRE plus these development tools. Okay. So what JRE is, is basically it is just an environment wherein the program runs and JRE is equal to JVM plus library files. So there is the third term that is JVM, which is known as Java virtual machine. So let's see what it is. So as you can see, I have written JVM in pink. So JVM is an abstract machine, as I mentioned. So it is not a physical entity and it is just a specification that provides runtime environment. That is the JRE in which the Java bytecode can be executed. So JVM is this pink box plus the library files, which is JRE. So there are some external files which assist with the running of the entire program in the JVM or in this entire Java runtime environment. So these library files are needed. And basically this is the entire structure. So JDK is at the top. JDK is equal to JRE plus the development tools and JRE is equal to JVM plus the library files. So I hope this hierarchy is clear to you. We as a developer will be directly downloading and using the JDK. So in the upcoming video tutorials, I'll show you where to download this and how to use this. The programs will be running in the JRE, which would be the implementation of JVM. So JVM and JRE and JDK pretty much are different for every system. That is for Windows, it is different for Linux, it is different. However, the intermediate bytecode. So just to give you a small uh, introduction or just to give you an overview of the execution of process of Java. So we have the Java file, say for example, abc.java. So in this, you have written the code. It is first compiled. And there is an intermediate level code that is known as bytecode. Okay. So this bytecode is basically portable. However, JRE, JDK, JVM is separate for every se separate platform. So for Linux, it is different for Windows. It is different for Mac OS. It is different and so on. But this intermediate bytecode, which is compiled by each of these implementations can be portable on any of the machines and it, it is platform independent. 
and the next process would be the interpreter would interpret this byte code into the executable file okay so of course we'll talk about the entire execution process of a java code in detail in another video tutorial but right now just this is just an overview which i wanted to give you and i hope the concept of jdk jre and jvm is now clear you can just remember this entire diagram and hierarchy and a little bit of theoretical definitions of each of these terms so that's it for this video guys i hope you understood the difference between the three concepts jdk jre and jvm and this will help you a lot when we move ahead in this playlist and it can help you in your exam questions as well as interview questions so if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and if you haven't yet subscribed make sure you subscribe to this channel because you'll get notified whenever i upload a new video tutorial on this channel so i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace